You are tuned in to The Art of Words, hosted by Gavin Rasmussen. Hello, my name is Gavin Rasmussen, and I am your host for The Art of Words, an EWC communications podcast devoted to understanding and analyzing impactful poetry. In our first episode, during a time of such turmoil with the current political affairs in the US and the world, as well as being in the midst of COVID, we must talk about survival. Survival seems to typically be understood as the Darwinian concept of survival of the fittest or the idea of fighting or adapting for one's life to stay alive. This fight or battle insinuates a struggle that appears to be a constant in most everyone's lives. Audre Lorde, in her collection of poems called The Black Unicorn, touches on this idea of fighting for survival, but sometimes proving that the fight or struggle may lead to our demise if we are not careful. Let's listen as Audre Lorde reads a litany for survival from her 1978 collection, The Black Unicorn. For those of us who live at the shoreline, standing upon the constant edges of decision, crucial and alone, for those of us who cannot indulge the passing dreams of choice, who love in doorways coming and going in the hours between dawn, looking inward and outward at once before and after, seeking a now that can breed futures like bread in our children's mouths so their dreams will not reflect the deaths of ours. For those of us who were imprinted with fear like a faint line in the center of our foreheads, learning to be afraid with our mother's milk, for by this weapon This illusion of some safety to be found, the heavy-footed hoped to silence us. For all of us, this instant and this triumph, we were never meant to survive. So when the sun rises, we are afraid it might not remain. When the sun sets, we are afraid it might not rise in the morning. When our stomachs are full, we are afraid of indigestion. When our stomachs are empty, we are afraid we may never eat again. And when we are loved, we are afraid love will vanish. When we are alone, we are afraid love will never return. And when we speak, we are afraid our words will not be heard nor welcomed. But when we are silent, we are still afraid. So, it is better to speak, remembering we were never meant to survive. A few years prior to Audre Lorde publishing The Black Unicorn, a trailblazing group of Black feminists, including Audre Lorde, Barbara Smith, Beverly Smith, Demita Frazier, Alicia Garza, and many more worked together to write a statement that paves the way for a strategy for survival. These are the opening two paragraphs to the Kambahi River Collective Statement. We are a collective of Black feminists who have been meeting together since 1974. During that time, we have been involved in the process of defining and clarifying our politics, while at the same time doing political work within our own group and in coalition with other progressive organizations and movements. The most general statement of our politics at the present time would be that we are actively committed to struggling against racial, sexual, heterosexual, and class oppression, and see as our particular task the development of integrated analysis and practice based upon the fact that the major systems of oppression are interlocking. The synthesis of these oppressions creates the conditions of our lives. As Black women, we see Black feminism as the logical political movement to combat the manifold and simultaneous oppressions that all women of color face. We will discuss four major topics in the paper that follows. One, the genesis of contemporary Black feminism. Two, what we believe, i.e. the specific province of our politics. Three, the problems in organizing Black feminists, including a brief history of our collective. And four, Black feminist issues and practice. 
Many believe that survival is a fight for oneself. Audrey helps to create an environment and ideals that face the survival of oneself to the survival of one's community. As one human can do only so much, a collective of humans have the power to do so much more, including reshaping our idea of how we survive or even what it means to live. Thank you for listening to The Art of Words. I'm your host, Gavin Rasmussen, and don't forget to join us next time as we dive into the hidden water of Frank Stanford. This has been The Art of Words, hosted by Gavin Rasmussen. If you'd like to leave suggestions, email us at ewcfacts at gmail.com. That's ewcfacts at gmail.com. This has been an EWC Communication production.